uh, turn to uh, public comments uh, on this uh, item. We have a few, one, two, three uh, people who'd like to address. Uh, in the order that I have received, the first person uh, is uh, Ellen Bartlett, followed by uh, Tyler Holcomb. And the last person will be Harvey List. So if you can uh, step forward to save us time, uh, each person will have uh, three minutes. Thank you. Um, it's sad that we have to even be here today, but we're here because some crony buddies of Councilman Agron, who were hired with a no-bid contract for over $100,000 a month, refuses to comply with the contract that they signed. The city, as we just heard, has standard provisions in all of our contracts with all of our vendors that they must turn over all their records associated with their contract. If they didn't like that, they shouldn't have signed the contract. And again, I know Anthony, you just you just read this, but um, I did I I took the pleasure and I and I I found this on our city's website. It's it is it's section 4.1, but I just want to read it again so everyone understands this. It's four point section 4.1 records and reports upon request by the city. The contractor shall prepare and submit to city any reports concerning contractor's performance of the services rendered under this agreement. The city shall, shall have access upon reasonable notice to the books and records of the contractor related to contractor's performance of this agreement in the event any audit is required. All drawings, documents, other materials prepared by the contract and performance of this agreement shall shall means must for those dictionary challenged, be the property of the city and shall be delivered at no cost to the city upon request of the city or upon termination of this agreement. So that's, that's part of what's in that contract. And um, I guess I want to talk to um, one more, a few more things. I did, I, oh, by the way, I did talk to a couple of my Democratic neighbors. They're done supporting Larry Councilman Agron, I've just they they voted for you for a long time, but they said they've been reading all this audit stuff and they've had enough. Um, lastly, uh, there was something um, related to this with in Congress with the IRS hearings, and I want to thank Congressman Trey Gowdy because he explains about spoliation of evidence. I'm not a lawyer, but if you consciously destroy evidence or withhold evidence for the court, the jury has a right to make a negative inference of that in their decision. This November, the jury will be the voters, and they will get to decide whether to finally send you into retirement, Councilman Agron. Thank you. Okay, Mr.